Hey yo everyone, welcome back to Book. The one, the only. Big Dick. I don't know where that was going. Okay, so we're gonna play or obviously we're gonna play Terraria. But we are gonna take on the Steam Trio. The long awaited Steam Trio. I really wanna kill this fucking hypothermia permafrost person but or boss but i don't know i don't remember how to get the thing we need like a certain spawn certain item to drop from specific enemies ancient ice crystal we need frost essence i actually think i have some frost essence now i don't remember what i got it from two two frost essence that's insane all right so yeah we're gonna fight the steam trio the Annihilator, Slybertron, and Steam Train. Serve the Annihilator. So we need the Steam O Vision. I'm assuming these are gonna require uh, cogs and stuff to make. Ooh. This looks cool. I'm liking this. It's probably one of my favorite trios from a mod. And there isn't too many mods that has trios, if I'm being honest. But I really like the idea of these guys. I like when a, I like when a mod has a theme and then they build off of that theme. Obviously, Steampunk isn't. A new theme to Terraria because the steampunker is in the game, but no, it's still interesting and creative in my opinion. So let's get we're getting a bunch of cogs, I'm assuming, just get like a couple hundred. Now the question is, do these make any ranged weapons? Hmm, I wonder. There's a bow, the clockwork bow. Can't make that. It's from Calamity though. Pill popper. Antenna. <laughs> Okay, we can't really use that. I know there's some weapons, though, that we get from the bosses that I'll try out. But yeah, let's make this Steam vision That should be good unless we need... No, we good. Okay. Steam Crown. What's the other one? It's the Whistle. I'm assuming it's called a Whistle. I don't know. Boom, there's that guy. Boom, there's Slybertron. And then... I'm just going to assume it's a Whistle. I was right. I'm a genius. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know I am. Uh, I got this weapon during a live stream. It's called a pulse through it. Now, NEF had a not enough flamethrowers. That's NEF. That mod had an update recently. And I think this is one of the items added in. Because this was not in the mod when I did the mod review. At least I didn't remember it being. But uh, yeah, let's clap some cheeks slash do work. I, I probably won't use this, honestly. It's good, but it's not that good. This is way better. But uh, I don't know where to fight. Let's fight to the right in our beautiful desert, I guess. Nah, I should really make a new arena, man. I really should. Thing is, I don't know where. <laughs> we'll fight in the desert for this episode, though. Or maybe I should put it like right here over the. I don't know. Here, let's let's put this one in action. See if we run into any enemies. Hey, see, it's not bad, but I think we got a little bit late. I wish it was more stuff with the pulse type items because I think the whole pulse thing is interesting. But I also think pulse stuff kind of you know goes into shroomite. But um. I don't know. I just wish there was a couple more pulse items. I mean, mods do a good job at adding some here and there. I think I've seen a couple of pulse items. But yeah, if you don't know what's going on in this desert, when we stream, I have this thing where if you donate 100 bits at once, you can request something for me to build. So here's a bunch of stuff people requested me to build. This is a peppermint butler from Adventure Time. This is a cactus with a crown on it. This is somebody's Minecraft skin head. A uh, skin head. No, no, best things to say out loud. But uh, the list goes on. There's a good bit of things everywhere. As you can see, our hearts are actually at 500. We've, I finally, during that live stream, I finally got everything. So we can have enough health. But uh, let me go ahead and sit here and regen a little bit. And then we'll start the first fight. So if this steam armor is better, I'll probably upgrade to it. We'll see. Where, what time of day do we fight this guy at? Night. Okay, got it. Boom. Boom. Let's do it. We're taking on the Annihilator. Number one in the Steam Trio. Uh, let's use the Flamethrower. Are we doing damage? I can't tell. We're like both doing damage. Let me do this. Oh, hell yeah. That hurts. What happens if I whip it out? What happens if I whip out the gun? This ain't even a gun. It's a blowpipe. All right, it did decent damage. We're going to summon our Steam Gunner. It's really fucking loud. And I can't hear anything. It's got some Brain of Cthulhu vibes. I see some Brain of Cthulhu stuff going on. Ow. A little bit of damage right there. We shouldn't fuck around here. I've never fought these guys. We shouldn't fuck around. We should just go, go for the jugular. That's what we're gonna do. Pop out the P90 real quick, dude. I am. This is 
just confusing me right now. What's going on? It's gonna get really bad in a second. We're gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing things in a second. All good for us. We got this. We got the homing. The homing shots. Oh my god, there's so many spikes everywhere. I'll get it juggled. Don't juggle me. Let's stay up in the air. Stay away from these spikes. Use the homing for our ability. We don't have to fuck around. We don't have to fuck around. We don't have to, you know. Do nothing when we don't want it. Like get hit by these spike balls. I definitely don't want to get hit by the spike balls. I definitely don't want to use a weapon. Because I never use a certain weapon. I definitely don't want to use that weapon. Dude, what is going on? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The spike balls even have like doubles of themselves. Oh my god. My my brain hurts from that one. My brain always hurts, but <laughs> that, that was tough. That was tough. I like that boss. That was awesome. Really cool. All right, we'll uh, we'll just hold on to everything because we're gonna run through these bosses. Train type beat. I'll get it. Train. We're gonna run through it like how they run a train on women sometimes or male or whatever you wanna be. You can get get train ran on you if you want. But get it like whistle, train whistle. That's fucking hilarious. Going game readers. All right. Uh, let's wait for on oh, our potions. Are you ready? At night? No, it just says Steam Crown Call to His King. Let's do it. I'm ready. Why you gotta hit me? Come on, bro. I'm ready. Slybertron, this is a slime. Oh my god. It's like a mechanical slime. Let's try and use a different weapon here. Let's try. Let's make it more tough by using a different weapon. Don't get hit by the smoke. It makes it harder having all this stuff, you know, uh, scrambled around the arena. Don't do that. Phase 2 activated. Uh, what a beautiful noise to hear. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're using this. I'm sorry. I had to whip that out. Oh my god. I don't want to use it anymore. They, they did too much damage, man. Use the flamethrower. My dodging's on point. I've seen those clean dodges. Try this out, too. Alright, you know what? We're taking damage. We're going for the kill. We're going for the kill and blow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That hurt. Ooh. Okay, we might low-key die. Come out. Come out. Gotta get serious real quick. Okay, see, that's what I get for not taking it seriously. <laughs> Did he have another phase? I feel like he gained more health. Okay. This time, did I even buff? I don't even know if I buffed at all during those fights. I don't remember buffing. This time, we'll take it 100% seriously. I, I just wanted to make it interesting by using other weapons. My bad. You get punished a lot in games for doing that. Because you need to start playing with a different type of skill cap. As in, like... Excellent skill cap. You want a good example of a game you can't have fun and fuck around with 90% of the time? Fortnite. Call of Duty. Not Call of Duty. You can fuck around in a lot more. Fortnite, though. Good example. I just try to fuck around sometimes and I get clobbered. But let's do it. This time, I won't fuck around. We're just gonna use strong weapons. We gonna clap your cheeks, man. Straight up. Straight up. 100% straight up. Not playing this one. Going, we're just going for the jugular. Plain and simple. Let's get this to where it was before. Probably not smart to walk into him like that. I think this thing's definitely at its strongest. When you do that full charge. Oh my god. He does hit really hard. It's bad that I'm trying to get close though. Ooh, that thing goes high. Let's do this. Get the arrows on him. Ooh, I didn't see that fucking cog flying at me. Y'all you you seen that cog? Get his ass. This thing kind of sucks. <laughs> My height, he kind of sucks. There we go, using different weapons. He does have another phase. I didn't even know he had another phase. I mean, I guess it said phase three and shit like that, but I didn't think he'd regen from the phase switches. That has to be it. Okay, good. There we go, we took it a little bit more seriously. We clapped him. I still like that boss, though. These bosses are definitely have been challenging so far. Even though I don't think I would have died to that boss if I, you know, took it more seriously the first time. What are we missing right here? There's something right here that's missing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hold up. I'm, I'm about to watch a video back see what was right in the slot. All right, figured out what it was. It was a thorium food. We're going to take this life fruit, give it to this guy. And uh, we do have a bunch of extra life fruits still. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. So let's get 95. Okay. 130. <laughs> Mine's all good. That's how much I wanted, man. But yeah, let's go ahead. We also make some uh, life fruit plants here. 
real quick use it for this last fight is it gonna be the train fight i think we need a different arena for this train fight though if i'm being honest i think we might need to change it up uh let me make a campfire okay i don't have any wood for a campfire we need a better arena because i don't know if this is gonna cut it let's try let's try the ocean dungeon ocean or dungeon side ocean this is sulfur seas actually Ooh. um let's hold up <laughs> Let's start with this. Let's buy a, a Zen potion. So at least since we're going to be over there, we won't have to worry about uh, any Sulfur Sea enemies because those guys hit hard and take a while. This is, the Sulfur Sea is on this side, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. I will make a new arena somewhere. I don't know. I got to make an arena. I'll probably do it, do it during a live stream. There's also something I really want to do during a live stream. Uh, which I might do today. You're probably watching this today, the same day I'll live stream. Uh, I'll probably like go through a bunch of my weapons and items and see what weapons I can make. Some I want to do. Just make sure we get all the weapons we can. Or at least get a majority of them that I want at least. So let's put this over here. Sweet. Let's move this one over a little bit. We're probably going to be in the sky a lot of the time. Alright. I'm ready. Making that time again. It is Steam train time this is the boss i'm hyped the most for i saw fury fight this boss and i was like this boss looks cool as fuck let's do it oh shit i was already i was already already i was already already oh my watch the steam watch the steam come on do it again get the hell out of here boy get out of here do it one more time see what happens one more time one more time. just one more time Boom. oh my god Super drive. Oh shit, they got the cogs. Oh my god. Okay. Hyper drive, warp drive, we went straight into warp drive. Oh wait. Let's kill him with a flamethrower because this shit penetrates. Not kill him with the BFE. Come over here, boy. Get your cheeks clapped. Alright, he was probably the easiest just because he's a enemy you can penetrate, but. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? I just hoiked really hard. <laughs> I went flying with that. Okay. He doesn't know what hoiking is it's a terraria term only uh, pro terraria players know that one <laughs> let's look at all the items i'm ready that boss is awesome even though we killed it really fast fucking awesome i love the steam trio shout out the enigma mod for doing that man that's that's a cool trio but yeah let's take a look here we got soul of rot soul of fraught soul of thought and then we have steam tanks this is from the this is from the train steam powered increasing mystic damage useless for us I really want to do a Mystic character playthrough. We'll see. We'll, we'll see about that. 15% uh, throwing damage. 25% uh, throwing velocity. Okay, so this is a throwing weapon. This dropped from uh, Slybertron. And then we got Zippy Cog of Knowledge. Increase max number of minions by 2. This dropped from uh, Steam of Vision. What the hell is his name? <laughs> I don't remember his name. Steam of Vision was the item to spawn him. The Annihilator. Okay. So now we got a bunch of steam bars, probably for the armor and weapons. But let's see this. This is probably also for the armor and weapons, isn't it? Oh, there's a mysticism thing. So we got we got angel treads already, so this probably doesn't matter. But there's an accessory I can get rid of. This one's not the greatest. It's not the worst either. But uh, steam spark jet boots. Uh, where it can run super fast, cruise flight time. Eh, it's okay. Nothing, nothing new. Train whistle. Cause a train for you to ride? What? Yo. Mystic Emblem, Vulcan's Wrath, Stationator, Train Scythe. Oh. Is that supposed to do a thousand damage? What? It's <laughs> a lot of damage. What are gears? Where do we get gears from? Alright, Soul of Fraught. Ninja Emblem. Enginator. Enginator. That looks like a really cool weapon. Coginator. <laughs> Got a lot of innators. Uh, and then we got, here we go, Steam String, that's what we're looking for. So we need Souls of Salt, which we definitely have. Gears, what the fuck are gears? Do we make gears? No. I don't know where we get gears from. Uh, Brass Arrow, which redirects itself on collision. It's interesting. Steampunk set, hopefully this set's better. 14, 16, ooh, it's not looking like it's better. And then which one is the ranged? What? There's no range helmet? What? 
Oh man, that's kind of upsetting. All right, uh, Steampunk watch. You tell the time. Oh my god, that probably did something crazy. But yeah, so the only thing we can get is steam string, and there might be one other weapon. I don't know how to get cogs though. Let me look it up. Boom, bada bing. Lord Charles the Third, the conductor, has arrived. Sorry, I was just out here getting some wood. No homo. Uh, let's head back. This is the NPC that gives us the stuff. You know, I expected it to be an NPC, but uh, I looked it up just in case. I, I was gonna guess it was either gonna be uh, Minerva that sells it here, our steampunker that sells the cogs, or it was gonna be a new NPC or an enemy. And uh, you know, close enough. I'll, uh, let's pretty much say I'm right. Look at Lord Charles. What a cute. No, it's kind of gay to say that. Uh, miniature train whistle. You little nice little pet. I like my pet though, but I like trains too. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. What is this? That's not. The thing itself isn't miniature. What the fuck? What is this? I can't have that follow me around, bro. That's a distraction. That's a distraction. Alright, here's the gears. Like a cog, but better. It's facts. I see. I hear nothing but facts from that. Is there anything special we can make? I'm not gonna fuck around with any of this time stopping stuff. I know it's cool, but uh, when we do a mystic, mystic playthrough, mystic class. Uh, we'll fuck around with it more. But yeah, we need eight cogs. No problem. How do I make the arrows? I want to make the arrows too. Oh, you just make them straight up. Okay, sweet. Is there an infinite one? Probably not. Sadly not. I think every mod, I don't know, maybe some mod dev developers think is OP, but honestly, in my opinion, I think every mod should add in stuff like that. The ability to, uh, make their stuff infinite i just feel like it's a thing that you should be able to do because it costs a lot to do it so i don't know i think it's very bad i think it's pretty balanced i don't know what i'm typing now stream sting sting it was something sting no i don't know what the hell it was called <laughs> let's just type in the enigma mod and i uh, will figure it out like this okay let's start with making the weapon first there it is Str steam st string see i was close enough Boom, there's that. Unreal, oh my god, we got the best one. And then let's make these arrows. Where the fuck are the arrows? There they are. Brass arrows, let's make like 500. That should be more than enough. Sand the terraformer, we're getting all the good NPCs. I gotta fix up my town a little bit. I mean, this is one of the better towns I've made. Nothing crazy, but at the same time, it's not like ugly. I don't like the P90, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think it's uh, pretty shitty. As in, it does no damage, so I don't like it. But yeah, let's go ahead and replace the hungering arrow. It's good to go, right? Oh my god. They're pretty much like chlorified arrows, then. At least that's what they seem like with the way they ricochet off the wall. But they're probably a little bit better than chlorified arrows, I'm assuming. I don't know. There's newly many things that are better than chlorified. Do you guys know Calamity nerfed chlorified bullets? Slash arrow? I don't know if they did arrows, but they nerfed the bullets. I never like when a mod nerfs certain things like that. I mean, they probably had their reasons to, but like, I feel like don't touch vanilla stuff unless you absolutely have to. When it comes to nerfing, you can buff vanilla stuff. That's not that bad. But nerfing vanilla stuff, it's like when the spirit mod tried to nerf the last prison. I think they reverted that nerf, which is smart. But I don't know. Just my opinion, don't fucking touch vanilla stuff. All right, let's test it out. Ready? Let's do it. We're going to test it against an easier boss here. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So the arrow just bounce back and forth. So this would probably be really good if you have like a boxy arena. Oh my god, they're not bad at all. I think what they do is they hit something. And then at a certain point, they turn to come back and hit it again. That's what it looks like. Because some of them, look, some of them are bouncing around. Okay, I like these arrows. They're not bad. What about if I use them like this? What if I use them like this? I might shred through them a little bit. My shit do them a little bit, but uh, that damage, though, not too bad. You see some of those hits? You getting chunked. This thing's not bad, though. Like, how fast it shoots? I like it. I want to test one more thing with this bow, though. With how fast it shoots. Obviously, my uh, right click on Luke's bullet hell shoots faster. It probably shoots faster than most weapons in the game, honestly. Uh, especially bows. But what happens? Let's try this out here. Ready? The Skywind Howls. Ooh, the Skywind Howls. How have I not gotten whatever that is that, that just triggered? Let me try something here. What is that? I've lost the bullets. 
Um, let's try the hungering arrows. Let's just see how fast it shoots. I'm shooting both arrows right now? Or is this thing shoot? Turns wooden arrows into brass arrows and fires additional brass arrows. Yo, this bow's not fucking bad. <laughs> Especially with the magic quiver too. This bow ain't bad, man. Let's test on one more boss. And uh, I think we're going to end the episode after that. Let's test it on a... Uh, no, the golem kind of hurts. Let's just test it on Skeletron again. <laughs> it don't matter. Test it on him again. You know, I think that you're allowed to make mods for other Terraria bosses. There should really be a mod that adds in Lepus, Turkor, and Akram. And then like the Arc Wyvern, you know? Adds in a bunch of the bosses slash mini bosses. And then they build off of that. That'd be really cool for a mod to do that. But I don't really know how the rules work on that. I'm pretty sure you can make like items from other consoles and stuff. Slash platforms. But yeah, this should be a really good bow. I don't know about using the cog arrows. We might just use something else. Uh, hungering arrows are obviously always good. But I think we might try out Chlorophyte. You know, try out some different arrows here. Let's activate our rage. Do some crazy damage with the rage. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I like this bow. We're keeping it. I think I'm going to try and use a right click from this less, but I don't know. We'll see. If I really need to kill something, I'll probably use that because it's just so good. But uh, like I said, we'll see. We'll see what I do. But yeah, that's going to end off this episode. Shout out to the creator of the Enigma mod. I think his name is Logic or Logical Logicality, something like that. Uh, I really appreciate this team trio. I like the creativity in it. Um, more things like that. I hope more, more mod developers do things like that. Actually, decreasing this penetrates blocks. What the hell? That's the wrong arrow. Uh, let's try this. It can barely penetrate blocks. What the fuck? I mean, you can make it like a wall. This would probably be good for farming uh, certain bosses. Or not bosses, certain events. But yeah, let's get this episode off. Shout out the uh, Enigma mod for this Steam Trio. One of my favorite bosses I've fought in this series so far. But yeah, see y'all. Oh, next time.